What's poppin' everybody? Thank you for coming back for another video. My name is Bree, and today I'm going to be doing an intuitive card reading for all of the signs. Make sure that you're watching your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign placements. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed, hit the notification bell, tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl. <laughs> and let's slide right into the Capricorns. Okay, Cappies. Let's see what's been going on with the Capricorns. We get a past, present, future card. Past, present, future for the Capricorns. What's going on? What's been going on with my caps? What's been going on with my cap? So the first card, present, we have power. The power card. So this card is talking about strength. This card is talking about, you know, wisdom, power, strength, tenacity, all these things. So right now, the Capricorns are either being tried by something or they have just overcame a very big obstacle and you're realizing, wow, okay, I do have the strength to pretty much deal with anything that comes my way. So power card that's a great energy to be in right now capricorns can we get the past card okay so your past card is patient so the capricorns have been having to be very patient about some type of change i'm getting job career change some type of career change that the capricorns have been trying to make recently um it hasn't exactly gone the way that you see you the way that you saw it going but it is making progress there is steady progress being made and you are going to be coming into some obstacles and challenges in the near future but it's important that you remember that this energy that you're feeling right now that you can accomplish anything you can take on anything you have to keep that energy with you capricorns because the journey that you're going through is going to be very arduous okay there's something coming up in your in your life whether it be in career um or love but something that uh, is coming up is going to be a little difficult for you to get through okay so then we have six of cups so it's giving some type of relationship it's a relationship that is going to be met with some obstacles and challenges but you and i'm hearing y'all are strong enough to get through it so don't get like scared about it, but just understand that there is going to come a time where um, energy gets a little rocky in this connection that you have going on or on the job. So the first card to come out from the um, tarot deck was the six of cups in the upright. Then we have five of swords in the reverse. And then we have 10. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, then we have 10 of swords in the upright. So this energy that I'm getting from this spread is that the Capricorns may end up seeing a side of someone that they didn't know existed or that you didn't think you were going to see. You didn't expect that you would be the one that would come into this type of situation with this person. Like maybe it's a person um, in your family who's like your favorite. And so like you're seeing some behavior from them currently that's just like what you always been like this <laughs> and then it could be a situation at work where it's like okay this isn't the job that i thought that i was going to have you know what i'm saying this isn't the money that i thought i was going to be making this isn't the situation that i thought i was going to be in but just keep rem in reminder that your power card is still at the forefront of anything that's going on right now you have enough strength and enough wisdom to get through and enough patience i'm hearing patience from the card I'm hearing patience as well. So you have enough patience and wisdom and strength to get through whatever it is that you're going through. But when it's over, when it's over, when those obstacles and challenges are over, you are going to be out for the count for just a tinge, Capricorns. You are going to be out for the count for just a tinge. 
Then we have the nine of discs and the seven of cups. Yeah. So when it's all said and done, Capricorn, you're going to be feeling a lot better and you're going to have more options. You're going to have more options. You're going to be sitting here like, okay, well, I got my abundance back up and I actually have some choices about where I go next and what I do in my life. Okay. And that relationship, that seven of cups might progress. Yeah, it might progress. And I said, I got 10 of cups as I was saying that. So the Ten of Cups energy just makes me know that right now, whatever is holding up you and your person, it's all material. It's material slash career issues, okay? And people are not exactly where they want to be, where they need to be, but you're making progress. You're making progress. So your partner is in reverse strength, reverse judgment, and King of Cups energy. So your partner is ready to like open up and let you in but your partner also feels that your partner might also feel like they're being judged or they're in this very hypercritical energy and that might be what that obstacle and that challenge is and right now they don't have the strength to get you guys out of that scenario so it's going to be on you Capricorn to kind of keep this connection sustained right now if that's what you want to do Oh my gosh, all these freaking cards keep falling and it's really blowing me. Then in the empathy cards, we got winter and validation. Yeah, so your partner is going to need that extra validation from you in these winter months, okay? Something about this this change of season is, is really hard for your partner. They could also, they could be dealing with like some type of seasonal depression or they could just be, you know, in a lower energy, a lower vibe right now. Whatever the case may be, they're really going to need you, okay? Um, direction and story. Yeah, so I'm getting that whatever it is that you are going through with your partner slash your partner is going through without you, this is very intentional. These problems that you're having or these like disconnects, they're important. They're they're divinely guided. These are divinely guided um, like mishaps and, and hiccups that y'all are having along the way. And the point of these hiccups and these um these moments that are trying you is so that you can understand that this relationship is not your run, your typical like one of the mill relationship. I'm hearing energy. Um, this relationship, there's something serious. This relationship um, is divinely protected is what the message that I'm getting. This relationship is divinely protected, Capricorn. So just remember that when it gets a little rough. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. And surrender to the divine. Full moon. So like I said, this connection, whatever it is that you're going through Capricorns, even if it's not in love, if love messages are not resonating for you right now, then hear this message. You are good enough. You... um have a limited perspective you have a limited perspective and maybe you need to be working on your crown chakra a little bit so that you can get some more divine guidance for your situation and what you're going through but you need to surrender this to the divine you need to get outside of your own head and outside of the situation that is currently going on and understand that everything is happening Everything is working together for you. Everything is working together for your good. And none of this, none of what is going on inside of your connection has been done on accident. This is all on purpose. This is all in divine time. This is honestly really beautiful energy. And just to, as a reminder, you are strong enough to overcome whatever obstacles y'all are having. Okay. And I just want to pull out some herb cards from the Herbology Tarot just to see what kind of herbs you could work with that might help you through this journey. So the herbs that we got were lemon balm, oats, and hemlock. So those cards are three of water, so like three of cups, the madre of water, which is like, I'm gonna say queen or princess. No, the queen of 
pentacles and then the emperor so that's really amazing energy that's amazing energy your emperor energy is saying that you do have the logic you do have the skills to get yourself a new foundation okay and then the queen of water or the queen of cups that energy is just saying that the Capricorns right now, you are very in touch and in tune with your feelings, okay? You're in tune with your feelings, but you do need to take some time to make sure that you still keep your, that you're keeping it together when your partner is lacking, okay? And then we have three of cups, lemon balm. This just speaks to um, using community to help you through what it is that you're going through. Reach out to your friends, talk to your friends, talk to your family. Um, if those are people that are supportive of you and have your best intentions at heart. Not necessarily yes men, but you need somebody who is going to care enough about you to be able to understand where you're coming from, what you're going through, and give you pointers on how to get to the next step. Okay, Capricorns? Thank you. Let's see what's going on with the Aquariuses. What's been going on with the Aquariuses? I'm hearing a very loud energy. Like, I mean, loud noise. Like, you know how when you're on the phone with somebody and they're in a grocery store and you can hear like all the muffled extraness that's going on in the background? As soon as I said Aquarius, my brain got flooded with a bunch of noise. So Aquarius is, you guys might have a lot going on in your life right now. You might have a lot going on with your emotions. You might have a lot going on with your career, with your friends, your relationships. The other cards are being like so stubborn. They don't want to shuffle. So it's kind of giving me an idea that the energy is kind of off with my Aquariuses. Y'all are forcing something. Some, some Aquarius is forcing something. So let's just see what's been going on. Can we give a present card? What's been going on? And I have a present card for the Aquarius. What's the present energy? I'm hearing money, more money. Aquariuses are trying to get to the bag right now. My Aquariuses are trying to get to the bag. So we have new beginning for the present energy. Present energy is new beginning. Past energy is fertility. This makes sense. This is very um, sequential. And your future is hope. The future is hope. Okay, so we have, this is the mess that's going on. This is this is what's going on with my Aquariuses. Y'all have a lot of major arcana work. These cards, all three of them are major arcana. And the way that I um, um, interpret major arcana cards are like character development. The Aquariuses are going through major character development, okay? So in the past, you had this fertile energy, you had this empress energy, where anything that you were thinking of was a possibility, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're coming into, like, this is the birth of the magician energy, like, you have that mother energy, you have the, um, I'm the queen of everything type of energy, that's what the empress gives me, and this is what you were in, in the past, the recent past. So now, because of that energy, you gave birth to new opportunities, new opportunities for yourself. This is new beginnings, the fool. So it's time to fall into some new stuff, let go of the original way of life and just go into a new flow. And then you have hope. And hope is an amazing card because that's the sun card. So the sun card is here to just remind us that there's always a um, blessing on the other side of a new beginning. There's always a blessing on the other side of like, a disappointment okay there's blessings on the other side of the unknown it's basically what's going on spirit is wanting to giving it's wanting to give you um some encouragement in your future card because right now it's um it's not a bad you're not in a bad place but you're in a very um beginner you're in a very beginner level in this place that you're currently in okay aquarius so more messages for the aquarius this is honestly exciting. It's like you have a blank canvas, Aquarius. Aquarius, you have a blank canvas. So you can kind of just create whatever it is that you want to create. It's giving very big magician energy. Um, the Aquarius is in this collective. If you are not into spell work, you might want to get into spell work because that's something that could help you. Any more messages for the Aquarius? 
So this is where the mess comes out, Aquarius. And look at that, Empress. So Aquarius, what we got were six of swords in reverse, four of pentacles in the upright, page of pentacles in the reverse, the empress in the upright, and the lovers in reverse. So what this is giving me is that the Aquarius's thirst for life has kind of been suppressed at this current point because there's a, a big need and a big focus on new possibilities and new energy as it relates to your finances. The Aquariuses are trying to secure a generational bag. They're trying to get their wealth in line, okay? There's some stocks going on. There are, um, you know, job opportunities and interviews that the Aquariuses are gunning for and going on, okay? But the blockage, there's a big blockage here for the Aquariuses. So we have the Six of Swords in reverse. This card is letting me know that you have not exactly let go of some not exactly let go of something that has really affected your flow okay the Aquariuses were flowing y'all were flowing and then something came in and just skirt, halted the flow okay and I think it's because you kind of have lost your your love for life like your excitement for new things and new possibilities like maybe the struggle of getting out of whatever situation you were in okay that struggle from i know i have an opportunity to create something but i gotta close this door before i get to the new beginning so you had to go through something to get to this new beginning that you're at and you haven't exactly let go of that situation yet now here's the thing i think it's a love you haven't exactly let go of a love or a lover because you have the lovers in reverse so the lovers in reverse is giving me the sense that a relationship that was mirroring you and where y'all were mirroring each other so maybe like a twin flame type of relationship or a karmic partner there's something going on in that connection it has the vibe thrown off okay the vibe is thrown off let's get some clarification through the empathic decks let me have some clarification as to the pain. Okay, clarification as to your pain. So we have winter, gates, your story, and water. So these are the cards that we have Aquarius for your pain to get some clarification on the pain and on the love so it's giving winter so this is yeah this is something that either happened last winter or this is something that the holidays time is like revving you up it's kind of getting you back in your emotional bag okay then we have gates your story and water so with this water and gate combination, I'm, I'm hearing floodgates. So it's like the emotional floodgates just keep opening, okay? Because you're right, you're still writing your story. Oh, uh, Aquarius, okay, okay, look. The Aquarius is kind of sad. The Aquarius is going through a lot of emotions because they had to have a very difficult ending to something so that they could get their beginning. Some of you guys are ascending spiritually. Some of you guys are awakening spiritually in either way way it's always um a lot of work that is done and it is always very taxing when you're ascending and awakening so aquarius i just want to hold space for you guys and let you know that it's going to be okay okay it's going to be all right um please encourage the aquariuses in the comments if you are an aquarius show each other some love if you um you know are just watching everybody sign just because you want to please show everyone please show the aquarius some love in the comments okay aquarius because i feel that heaviness i feel that heaviness for y'all it's it's giving very much i know that a better thing is coming but as of right now i don't see it i don't see it and therefore it's hard for me to feel like i didn't make a bad decision or hard for me to feel like i made the right choice oh aquarius well i'm here to say that you did make the right choice honey and if you have to cry cry i'm hearing pain is fine like you just have to have the pain and move forward 
Okay, so the moon messages for the Aquarius are actually very beautiful. So a new romantic cycle begins. So new moon in Libra. So you could have a Libra coming to you. You could be a Libra in your sun, moon, rising placement or in your venus a new start is coming and we know that aquarius spirit is trying to really get you to be encouraged about your new journey okay be encouraged about your new journey because you don't know what's going to happen on it all right and then we have a time for healing balsamic moon my my aquarius is are actually really low y'all are in a really low vibration and it's okay it happens but you have to take the time to heal yourself then we have luck is on your side new moon and sagittarius okay and then the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini so aquarius is be encouraged you do have some you know some blessings coming your way so just let me know in the comments below when they start flowing in okay thank you aquarius um, send up some love, some light, some prayers, some, 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 uh, Reiki, something for the Aquarius because they are going through it. And it's actually kind of act, well, not kind of accurate. It's actually like unfortunate because, you know, I always watch, I always watch these readings after I do them and I'm an Aquarius moon. So later on when I rewatch it, it'll probably hit for me really hard. <laughs> Because your moon sign is where you process all your emotions. So, you know. All right, moving on to my Pisces. Hey, Pisces. How y'all doing? How y'all living and stuff? Is y'all back in reality or y'all still in that 5D? Oh. So, Pisces' current energy is fertility. Pisces has a lot of potential right now. There's a lot of possibility for new beginnings. There's a lot of possibility for um, increasing, increasing finances, increasing, I'm hearing, responsibility. Maybe somebody's going to be um, pregnant or getting somebody pregnant because fertility... This is the Empress card in traditional tarot, but fertility is a very big piece of the Empress. The Empress is mother, okay? So somebody might be becoming a mother or father. All right, so let's see some future energy for the Pisces. What's coming in the future for the Pisces? I just heard weapons. Is somebody getting a gun license? So universe. 21 the world oh the world is your oyster and so past energy passion begins passion begins is your past energy pisces any additional message mental conflict pisces are always in some mental conflict you're always in mental conflict forever in mental conflict what is going on pisces so what i'm getting is solar plexus in Solar plexus chakra. So my my Pisces are really in the creative block. So some of my Pisces have decided that they want to start pursuing a creative career. Okay, you want to start pursuing a creative career because your passion, like it says, was ignited into the arts. So Pisces passion for the arts has been ignited and they're trying to secure that creative bag. Okay, Pisces. Well, that makes sense. There's nothing bad about that, in my opinion. So, let's see. What else is going on, Pisces? How can the Pisces get that creative career kicked off? What? How can they get that career kicked off? Wheel of Fortune. Three of Wands. Y'all got options. Because the universe is working on your behalf. That's amazing, Pisces. So, Pisces is actually going to be having some Pisces is going to have a shift in the blessings okay we love that <laughs> the Pisces are on moves okay king of cups okay Pisces prince of cups so some of y'all have a romantic offer that's coming in some of y'all are the romantic offer that is coming in because the prince of because the prince of cups energy gives us like knight in shining armor 
vibes okay so let's get these first three in the camera so you can see them the wheel of fortune the three of wands and the king of wands so when it comes to action pisces are definitely about that action which is very interesting because usually the pisces are um stuck in very heavy 5d energy which is like being in their dreams being in their thoughts um not exactly tapped into the real world and into the material world okay but this seems like the pisces are really trying to make moves so that they can master their actions like master their intentionality okay then we have the prince of cups and the king of cups so this is giving me two different types of things so on the one hand it's telling me that there is a romantic offer coming in and there's potential for it to kind of like come and find you and then the king of cups because look at this octopus so in the Prince of Cups card, this octopus is in the back kind of lurking and he's just kind of riding by because he's still on his way. So this is kind of giving me that there's a partner that could be coming into your life, a potential partner um, for the Pisces, but they're not exactly where they need to be or want to be or where you need and want them to be, okay? It's not, it's a not quite finished product. But then you have another offer that could be coming in where it's like the King of Cups. So now this one the octopus has made it to the land it's attached itself to the ankle he's not in motion anymore so he's perfectly in he's in the perfect position to be attached to this octopus because he has nowhere to go and nothing to do he's not on his way anywhere he's here for the long haul he's emotionally stable so it's given that you have someone who's on his way on their way to becoming emotionally stable and a great partner and then you have someone who's already there and already has all the things together okay so let's get some advice from the empath deck on um first creative creativity and then let's do love so career and love career what messages do we have for pisces and their creativity heart chakra so for you pisces your solar plexus chakra is opened okay and in order to sustain it you have to create from your heart you have to allow your heart to be open you have to hold space for emotions and whether those be i'm hearing pain so like pisces you also have a lot of healing that you still need well not maybe not a lot of healing that you still need to do but there is some healing that needs to be done authenticity yeah pisces make sure that you're being true to who you really are so that you can keep that creative flow open you can keep your heart chakra open other messages so then we have earth so pisces you may be dealing with the earth sign and we have validation those two make a lot of sense so pisces may be dealing with a capricorn um whether it be in love business or just you know personal friendship whatever the case may be there is something that's going to be happening with an earth sign for my Pisces. And then we have crowd surfing. So Pisces, just remember to keep it light. Continue to have fun as it relates to your creative career. And you'll continue to go far. And then for some clarification on love, let's pull from the herbology, from the herbology deck. A message on Pisces love life. What's the advice for Pisces in love? So for the love message, we got five of fire, the black cohosh, the magician, which is the sunflower, and the coranda of air, which is rosemary. So these three herbs might be meaningful for you at this time. Um, the five of fire is like the five of wands energy. So just keep your eyes open. Make sure that you're not missing anything. Use your intuition. Tap into your third eye and your higher and inner knowing. Then we have the magician, which is the sunflower. So that's just remember who the fuck you are, okay, Pisces? You can turn water into wine, okay? You got that type of energy and magic in your in your being, okay? Then we have the quandera of air, um i don't know how that relates to traditional tarot i feel like it's like the prince of airs so that would be like prince of swords or something like that but the whole point is with the swords just watch how you're communicating watch how you're communicating with other people because that's going to be very important when it relates to you making your next moves in life okay pisces thank you all right aries let's slide into the aries
Aries? What's been going on? What's popping, Aries? I'm here in Masquerade. So the Aries have been kind of faking the funk on a situation or in a scenario. Masquerade. It just kind of makes me feel like you're not being true to who you are, Aries, or you're not being true to what you need or who you need or whatever the case may be for that. Okay. Aries. What's the tea for the Aries? Present energy. Throat, third eye chakra. So presently, the Aries need to tap into their intuition. Your spiritual intuition is strong. Recent energy, passion begin or passion ignited. And then your future card. Your future card is prosperity begin. So this is a nice little interesting mix, Aries. So you have this as your spread. Passion ignited, third eye chakra, and um, prosperity begins. So it's initially my intuitive reading for this is the Aries have been the Aries have gotten themselves in a situation where they are excited about something, passionate about something or someone and yeah, now you have to see it for what it really is, okay? Now you have to see it for what it really is, whether that be better than what you thought it would be, worse than what you thought it would be, or right on point with what you thought it would be. But the third eye chakra is open and active right now, okay? It's like, listen, you need me. You need me to get you to this next step. And as a result, prosperity will begin. So I don't know if it's a matter of... This is a person that you have to get rid of. Mm -hmm. New beginnings and emotional loss. So this is going to be a situation that um, as it progresses, it will bring a little bit of heartbreak. But it will also bring an opportunity for a new start. A new money. Okay, a new bag. Then we have positive movement forward. So positive movement forward just is encouraging that whatever you're about to have to let go of it's all part of the journey that you were on it's intentional it's again it's in divine time like tower card tower card so you or your person you or your person are having a moment where you're having to face a lot of the things in you um that need help and they need work and they need to be corrected okay so the tower hasn't exactly crumbled yet but it is setting itself up to crumble because it's like in this situation if you refuse to see things for what they are mm -hmm, shadow work if you refuse to see things for what they are discontent and boredom you're going to continue you're going to start a cycle or maybe you're already in a cycle and you're just going to be continuing that cycle but either way spirit is trying to encourage you to let this situation be what it is see that you are the light okay you are the light queen of cups yeah you're in your emotional bag aries aries know how to love you know how to give right now that's not your problem your problem right here right now is ignoring your intuition you're ignoring your intuition. Ace of Cups. Because there's something, there's an there's a person with nothing to offer you emotionally. But you want the King of Cups to match your queen. Right? This is what you're supposed to have. This is the prosperity that's beginning. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? And right now, you're caught up on somebody who is selfish and has nothing to offer you. What's next, Aries? We have some more cards coming out for y'all. So, we also have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands now is giving me a vibe where it's like you have options. 
they're way over here in the bottom left but and you've kind of boxed yourself in in an invisible like a really truly non-existent cage because you just refuse to look at your options that are over here and we have king of wands which is movement. Like, you know what you want. You know where you want to go. You know how to get there. You just, for some reason, aren't moving right now. And then you have the Prince of Cups. This person doesn't... This is a fleeting love offer. A fleeting love offer. Someone who offered you... Who looks like they have a lot to give and they don't really have anything to give at all. It's a scammer. It's a scam. It's giving scammer vibes. So what is the empathic message for the Aries today, spirit? So we have beginnings, so new, everything new. Everything new, don't be afraid to start over. And we have resistance because that's you resisting. And then there's balance, which is 44, which is foundation. So at the end of the day, if the foundation isn't solid in this romantic connection, then what do y'all really have? And we have timeline. Like I said earlier in the reading, I think it was for the Capricorns. Everything is in divine time. Everything we do is in divine timing. Even when we decide that we don't want to do anything at all, even that was in divine time. So surrender to your, your timeline the story of your life okay don't try to compete and don't try to keep up with anybody else any more messages from the empath deck for the aries winter and the sun okay <laughs> so everybody is gonna have a lot popping off around the winter time is what it's saying to me and the sun the sun is a very important card. This sun goes with this light card. That's what this light card is in traditional tarot. So this is major arcana. It's telling you to remember that you have more to do with what goes on in your life than you are trying to take ownership of. You need to stop letting other people have control over situations that you're in control of. Stop putting yourself in a position to be told what's going to happen and start telling niggas what the fuck it's going to be. Okay. And your herb is going to be lavender, four of air. Lavender. You need to relax. Ten of fire, which is like ten of wands. It's just some relaxation that needs to happen so that you can understand where it is that you're going. And then you have sweet grass, which is like the queen of pentacles. Okay. So... Take some time to self-love. Take some time to figure out what journey it is that you actually need to be going on and who's best suited to come with you on that journey. And then also just remember that like your prosperity and your finances are going to increase. That is coming. Okay, that's a given. That's going to happen. Period. All right, Aries. Into Taurus. I will say so far, it seems like a lot of the collective is going to find its way into new beginning energy. Like there's a lot of um, opportunities that are coming the way of this collective. And I think that's awesome. Just remember, guys, that when we have a lot of abundance and blessings coming to us, there is going to be a lot of hateful opposition from the spirits that don't want you to succeed those that are living and those that are dead so make sure that you're posting i mean not posting that you are um, burning protection candles or protection incense or saying your protection prayers wearing your protection jewelry get you a third eye um bracelet or necklace um i sell them their prices range from six dollars to fifteen dollars so just let me know if there's anything that you want make sure you're following me on um instagram at aligned and busy so let's see what's going on with the Taurus. Present energy for the bulls. I'm hearing patience, which is good because Tauruses are not exactly the um, patient types. So 
present energy is destiny, wheel of fortune. The Tauruses are in good luck right now. The universe is working on your behalf. They've acknowledged that there's a lot of work that you've been doing, whether it be um, on yourself or with others or for others, whatever the case may be. There was a lot of work that was done and now there's a lot of reward coming your way. Um, the past card is the harmony card which is the lovers card in traditional tarot this is a spiritual union of either karmic or soulmate energies um that were mirroring each other so whether that was good or whether that was bad i don't know take it as it resonates was it, was it good or was it bad um so let's see your future energy it seems like it's good vibes with this lover's card because the Wheel of Fortune came out right after. So it seems like this might have been a connection that was having a problem before. And now y'all are kind of getting into a place where you are not having so many issues, okay, because of that Wheel of Fortune. And then it says stay in your ground. Seven. So you might be coming under a spiritual attack. Okay, so burn. Definitely make sure you're burning your protection candles, Taurus. Um, and then there's also a situation, maybe with this lover that you had in the past, that um, y'all didn't work out. So some of y'all relationship didn't work out. And it's like, okay, well, it didn't work out, but I'm still going to stand on what I said when I said it. Because that's what I said. Okay. Then we have victory and success. So after you stand your ground, it's going to be a battle that you do end up winning okay and then your last two cards from the oracle tarot are patience and memories of love so it is very much so giving that the taurus um had to let go of a situation or a person um that was no longer serving them and that's what you ended up standing your ground about so if this has not transpired yet it's coming in the next week or couple of weeks where there is going to be yeah so these are three sixes so the person that you were most recently dealing with in a relationship whether it be talking fucking you know um for the benefits whatever the case may be that person is not is not they're not done with their role in your life okay they're gonna come back um you're going to stand your ground on what you had said when you said it and then you're going to win that but it is going to require some patience from you it's going to require um your ability to let go and grieve this connection this is going to be a connection that you end up grieving Taurus message. What else do Tauruses need to know? It's giving that the Tauruses are going to get a lot of predictions, a lot of predictive energy, because maybe there's a situation that caught you completely off guard recently. And Spirit is like, okay, because that one caught you and snuck you so bad and, you know, crossed you up and they two-pieced you, we're going to give you some... Um, some help right now we're going to tell you like what's coming in the future so i think these are predictions for my sources nine of swords there's a lot of mental anguish that's coming up in the next couple of days couple of weeks four of swords you you haven't exactly understood your true power yet you haven't exactly understood your true power yet but you are on your way you see how in this card she's elevated off the ground she's levitating she's levitating but her swords are firmly rooted so you are it's giving me the energy of standing on what you said but like your swords are your words and like they are rooted in the ground and even though you're trying to ascend and elevate out of and past this pain you know what i'm saying like you're trying to transmute it it's still there and you still fought for yourself. And so that's still a good thing. Then you have Prince of Wands in reverse. So currently there's just not a lot going on, not a lot going down for the Tauruses. Like right now you're kind of in that in-between. Nothing has popped off yet, but you, you're getting ready. You're getting ready for it. Then we have the Star. So stay hopeful. You also might be dealing with some Scorpio energy. And you have the death and rebirth card. 
So, yeah, there's definitely... And some friends of yours, you might not be that connected to your friends and family right now. But that might be a really good thing for you to get back connected to. Um, the star. The star is kind of just like start manifesting what it is that you want. Start manifesting what it is that you want. And start paying attention to the moon. In the three of discs, you're not being... You're not in a space where you're appreciating community and what community has to offer you. So you might want to open back up to that because until you have this death and rebirth moment, your empress energy is going to be in reverse. So all the things that are supposed to be coming towards you that you're supposed to be, you know, making happen for yourself, you're not going to be able to do that until you start um, accepting the things that you're going through. Yes, luck is on your side and that's helping you navigate it, but you haven't accepted that there's parts of you that need to die. There are things that you do that need to stop. There are people you hang around that need to go. Okay, it's time to purge and surrender. So your empathic messages, you actually got a shit ton of them. So let's read through. So we have third eye chakra. So third eye chakra, your chakra, your third eye is not as open as it needs to be. There are things in people and in situations that you are not seeing because you are not tapping into that side of you. Then you have air. So my Tauruses might be dealing with some air signs or your communication might be off. Okay. Then we have holiday. So around the holiday time, again, you are going to... It's two different messages. Around the holiday time, somebody's going to hear something that they don't like. And around the holiday time, somebody is going to see something that they don't like. I hope that it's not the same person. Then we have the moon. So some people need to be manifest. So some of my Tauruses need to be manifesting by the moon. Some of you need to be charging up through the moon. Some of you need to be in communication with the moon, like reverence to the moon. The moon is very important to the Tauruses. And I'm going to read the moon messages next. Then we have containers. Stop compartmentalizing things and actually heal from them because you're making yourself an easy target for the predators. For the predators. Authenticity. Be true to who you are. As soon as you decide to be true to who you are, Taurus, a lot of your problems are going to disappear. Messages for the Taurus from the moon. Moon messages for the Taurus. No messages for the Taurus. I'm hearing reparation and penance. 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 I don't know what penance even means, but those are the words that are coming to me. So if they feel like they resonate with you, look them up. So be bold and make the first moon move. Cardinal moon. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. And the last two, believe in the impossible. Blue moon. And a new romantic cycle begins. New moon and Libra. So what it's giving is that this, this, this debacle that you're having with your person, Taurus, is because of a third party energy. It's a third party energy whether... Yeah, it's a th whether it be from you or the other person, there's somebody with another person. And I think it's you. It's giving that it's you, Taurus. Taurus is suspect right now because it's seeming like you have another um, love interest on the side of what it is that you're doing. Yeah, literally. You have, <laughs> so you have, <laughs> you're trying to have your cake and eat it too, Taurus. 
So we have the Ten of Air and the Adelita of Earth, which is the yucca plant and the alfalfa plant. And then on the other side, we have the world and the two of fire. So we have Pachama and Bee Balm. So these, these cards are, are giving me the message that there is an air sign that the Taurus is stuck on. No, there is an air sign that the Taurus has on the side. And those are the two options for the two of fire, which is two of wands card. And then there's a the new beginning card because there's either going to be the new beginning with the person that you're cheating on. Or there's going to be a new beginning with the new person that's on the side. Y'all messy. That's a bunch of mess, Taurus. That is a bunch of mess. So any last messages for the Taurus? Because y'all got to figure that out. I'm surprised there's no tower moments or nothing. But yeah, you can't get your abundance acting like that, Taurus. You cannot get your abundance acting like that. Stop playing the half. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good vibe. So the end of, so so the wheel of fortune that came out in the beginning, that's that's you're you're up right now. You're up right now, but you might not stay up because you're moving wrong. And we have the Wheel of Fortune again. Yeah, you're up right now, but it, it's not going to stay up. So you might want to um use this time where the universe is working with you to tell people what the fuck is up. So they can have their options and their choices and potentially move on from you. Knight of Pentacles, because you don't really have anything to offer. I'm actually mad at the Tauruses right now because y'all are being trifling. You're being trifling. All right. Thanks, Taurus. Moving on. Six, Gemini. I can't believe the Taurus is because that... That spread was definitely given a different type of energy. It was given that the Taurus was going to be the one that came out on top in the end, despite the other foolishness that was going on in the connection. Talking about stand your ground. See, I think it's actually a mixed message for the Tauruses because I think some of y'all are getting cheated on and some of y'all are doing the cheating. Now, I don't know whether this is like retaliatory cheating or whatever the case may be, but you're about to mess up your karma. That's just an intuitive message from spirit. Now let me get some water. We're going to slide into the Gemini. All right. Gemini. 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 <laughs> I play all day. I'm a Libra son. By the way, in case anyone wanted to know, Libra, Sun, Scorpio, Rising, um, Aquarius, Moon, and my Venus is in Scorpio. I'm really a Scorpio on the low. Like, I have so many Scorpio placements. So many Scorpio placements. Okay. Gemini, what's good? What's popping? What's good? What's popping? I'm not getting any downloads about the Geminis. Geminis are always so hush hush. Oh, they working. Excuse me, Geminis. Geminis are at work. <laughs> Prosperity begins. So the Geminis are securing bags, securing assets, securing equity. Um, I'm hearing roles and responsibilities. So the Geminis are just out here grinding for real and that makes a lot of sense then we have the light card it was in the past your recent past there's been a lot of hope the gemini's are manifesting it's a lot of manifestations that the gemini's are um working on right now let's see the future energy for the gemini's what's coming up in the near future for my gems what's going on for the gems 
so good a lot of cards popped out so y'all got a lot of things coming up in the near future okay so there's a little bit of suffering and silence going on so my gemini's um what's going on <laughs> what's going on we're gonna have to dig into that and then we have firm foundation okay so i see a nice little chocolate man with some nice black marshals coming through for the gemini so there could be a new romantic interest coming in for the gemini's whether you're the handsome man with muscles and you're looking for a handsome man with muscles or you a woman and you're looking for a handsome man with muscles but it's a handsome man with muscles and a good foundation coming your way amen praise god then we have temptation temptation is the the devil card which also represents the capricorns so some of my gemini's could be dealing with a capricorn or my Gemini's could be dealing, Gemini's could be dealing with addiction. This can be alcohol addiction, workaholicism, or uh, marijuana, like whatever your vice may be. This may be an encouraging note from spirit, okay? Rain it in. All right, so let's get more information. Can we get some clarification on the suffering in silence, please? I actually don't think I need it. Yep, yeah, here we go. Boom. I didn't think I needed it. So this is the triumphant success card. This is a card that comes out when you have fought against something and it was a very long, hard journey and you just didn't think that you were going to be able to get it done. Because this man's sword is coming up out of the ground. He was almost buried alive. Okay, do you feel me? He was almost buried alive he popped out he won okay and that is the full cycle from the full circle from the suffering and silence card so this might actually be a um message which is why you got so many cards at once that the gemini's have actually been fighting against addiction and you have finally won you're going to win you're going to win this fight with your addiction gemini that's powerful that's exciting happy for you guys so what else is going on with the gems? What other messages do we have? Queen of Swords and the Upright. So the Geminis have been working on their communication. Some of you guys may have been going to therapy. Some of you may just have been taking more time to yourself so that you're not, you know, always in combative energy and ready to just like pop off on people. Then we had the King of Wands card come out. So this is a man with a plan okay it's a man with a plan or a woman with a plan you're fierce you're fierce and you know what it is that you want and how you need to get it done essentially so that was these two something to be said about the queen of swords she may look very very serious and she is but she's also not whole she's not whole at this current moment because her cup her heart her emotions are locked away and she has her sword, she's dressed, she looks put together and serious, professional, all these things, but her heart hurts. So just keep that in mind if you're resonating with that Queen of Swords energy. And then we have our King of Wands. Like this is somebody who is about to go out here and get it. And that's on period. It's usually a fire sign because of the wands, but the wands also speaks to actions, like taking action, okay? So if you have the king of wands, that means you are like in complete control of yourself. There are no impulses. There are no, well, everyone has impulses, but you're not acting on them. You're not being impulsive. You're being logical. It's like graduated emperor energy, okay? Then we have and six of cups in reverse so there is some part of life that you have not accepted yet gemini maybe you haven't accepted gentrification maybe you haven't accepted you know poverty maybe you're still having a hard time dealing with the fact that there's kids in cages i don't know what the case may be but there's something that is not sitting well with you about life and how life is transpiring and you know progressing then we have the death and rebirth card which is exciting because that means that you have the opportunity to have a new start there's things in you and about you that are either in your control or they're not but they are coming to an end if they're negative okay and then your your positive qualities are going to be increased and um highlighted by the fact that the death has taken place and now we have a new person then we have the lovers lovers in reverse so this card is giving me that there is a karmic or soulmate uh i mean karmic or 
twin flame connection that the Geminis have found that is not currently working at this time. Um, and it's because you are serving as a mirror for your partner and you're the more elevated person. So they're not liking what they see. Yeah. Your partner doesn't have anything to offer you in the financial realm. Your partner in material. Yeah. He's judging you like this partner. He or she is judging you. Um, Gemini's, if there's a partner that you have right now that's kind of rubbing you the wrong way, I'm going to say you have free will always, but get rid of them because it seems like your partner is your worst critic right now, which is interesting. Prince of Wands, they're kind of holding you back from your progress. Prince of Discs in reverse, holding you back from your bag. Hmm. And then we have the death in reverse card and three of this in reverse again. So like this relationship that you're in, Gemini, it might be potentially holding you back from a lot of areas in your life. And maybe that's what you're having such a hard time understanding. Maybe it's like, how the hell can I overcome this addiction? But then I'm still stuck in this relationship with this person who's literally hindering me in everything. But I love them. So how can I communicate to them that I feel held back by this connection? That's what's going on with my Geminis. Geminis are having a, a rough time in their current relationship. And they're not sure how they're going to tackle that. They're not sure how they're going to overcome this little hiccup that they are having. Okay. Messages of empathy for the Gemini. Spirit, please send Gemini some loving, encouraging messages. What messages do you have for them? That card wanted to come out. Crown Chakra. You... A, don't have anything to give because you're not being poured into from spirit. You might be looking at your partner expecting them to be able to fix a lot of these things that are not up to them to fix. They're up to you to fix by way of being connected with your divine source. Being tapped in in your crown chakra, okay? If you don't, if you're not connected to source, baby hero you have to be your own hero thing you got to be your own hero gemini it's time to step up um put your big boy panties on <laughs> your big boy panties your big girl panties on it's time chameleon this is giving stop blending in stop allowing yourself to be muted stop allowing yourself to be muted you're not invisible people hear you now make them feel you that's the only way they're going to see you. Manifestation. I told you my Geminis were manifesting something very, very big. Okay. And then the encouragement in that is that spirit has heard your message. And if you would just tap back into your crown chakra a little bit more, they would be able to help you. Then your last three messages from spirit were strength because you're stronger than you think. Heart chakra, because your heart is wounded and you need to heal it. Specialness. Okay, I've never seen this card before. Specialness, because you needed to hear that. Gemini's needed to remember that they are special. They are important, okay? Everything about them is necessary to somebody, okay? Even if it's just you, all right? So that's important. Those are good. Those are really good messages for the Gemini's. Now let's get some moon messages and wrap that on up. For the gems, this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to cut it here. Gemini will be the last one for this video, and then the next video will start back up with Cancers. Cancer through Sagittarius. All right, so the Geminis, your messages are balance, spirituality, and practicality. The full moon in Pisces. Prosperity lies ahead, full moon in Taurus. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. That intuition, tap back into your crown, honey, and tap back into your heart. Start healing your heart and tap into your crown and you're going to have the answer to this problem. Luck is on your side. New moon, Sagittarius. A time for healing, balsamic moon. 
and then a new start is coming new moon so that's an exciting 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 spread um gemini let me know in the comments below if it resonated with you and also let me know um when things start turning around okay so guys thank you so much for joining in for these messages um make sure you check in the description box below so that you can find the time signatures for time signatures for all of your signs sun moon rising and venus okay also thank you so much for joining in if you want to get a personal private reading with me check the description box below for my instagram at aligned and busy you can always dm me and find out more information on how to get a personal reading if you would like to tip me or donate to my channel and for my energy and my readings please always donate at my cash app which is brie angelique b if you want more spiritual knowledge and information and free nightly readings on weekdays definitely check out the instagram at aligned and busy for all of the lives they're always posted on the page and it's every weeknight at 10 p.m all right i love you guys love and light and i'll see you in the next half of this video